Why did God make sex? God made sex for a variety of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, to procreate. Uh, we know that a biblical, biblically based, God-ordained marriage is between a male husband and a female wife. And because he has orchestrated that and declared that, that is why it is only between a male and a female that there can be procreation. That is just validation that God's way is the right way, whether we want to accept that or not. But it's also a very unique and intimate bond and a holy sacred act, but also a fun and enjoyable act by which we unite with the person that we have dedicated our lives to until death do us part. And the reason this has been made in such a way as God declared is it, it, it is a way in which we become, obviously, as Scripture says, the two become one flesh. And many people might think strictly that it's a physical act, you know, once you have, uh, you know, the orgasm, the ejaculation, whatever it might be, that that's it, and then the deed is done. But what's happening during the whole process and what continues on is it's not just a physical act. You are bonding with this person on a mental level, on an emotional level, and the strongest of all, a spiritual level. And God created sex in such a way as to bring two uh, people in a biblical marriage together and to experience that love that should only be between them. And as we know, there's plenty of scripture that describes that God's love for his church, his children, and we become born again when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins. God loves the church, those who are born again. He loves all people. He's calling all people to him. But those who are born again, God loves them in the same way that we are to love our spouse, and obviously not just in the act of sex. We love our spouse by being sacrificial, by serving them, by loving them, um, and by uh, obviously the woman. And what men need is, you know, to respect that the that the wife would respect her husband. Whereas men are declared uh, just right before that in scripture, I believe it's in Corinthians, um, where we are, where men are called the husband to love their wives as Christ has loved the church. So God created sex in such a way as to procreate, keep, uh, people being able to come about with their unique personalities. Everyone is made in the image of God and God desires that, but it's also made in such a way to have this unique, enjoyable, sacred, and, and fun and exciting act of coming together as one. And that's why it's such a holy act, but it's and it's and it is also such an, an exciting act because it's something that no one else needs to know about what we're doing. No one else needs to see how it's done. No one else needs to get a third party involved or whatever and experiment with us. It is to be between two people who have dedicated their lives for one another. And that is why God has made it such a wonderful uh, pleasant, um, productive, uh, enjoyable, sacred, and purposeful act. And that is why God has created sex, in order to procreate and give us a wonderful, sacred, and, enjo and enjoyable, um, unique, intimate way of connecting with the person that we love and have dedicated our lives to in a biblical, uh, God-ordained marriage on not just a physical level, but on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level.